If there's one thing that really drives me crazy, it's crummy design and engineering trade-offs. These wheels on this thing are ridiculous. There's no other way to say it. I just put them on the concrete and they're wearing right through. We can't have that because this is a gift for somebody who really needs it. So I've upgraded the wheels. It doesn't take a lot of money. I went out and got a $16 skateboard. And believe it or not, the wheels are halfway decent. Now you can go in here and replace the bearings if you want, totally up to you. But it may not be necessary for what you're doing here. And you can always rob them from here if you're really desperate. So let's go to a top-down shot and we'll turn this into an awesome hand truck. I'll post up there where I tested this hand truck out. Limited on time, I went out and bought a skateboard, took the wheels off. You could see that the wheels were a little wider. I took a belt sander and just kind of sanded them down. I used this as a guide. Here we go, take the original wheel off. And then I saved these parts because even though the wheels are kind of crummy, I'm sure I can use the roller bearings or something for a future build. So put that off to the side. Probably took an eighth of an inch on either side because I needed to have it clear right here. And then I'm going to use one quarter inch, 20, one half inch long and some lock nuts to replace the hardware, which I think was 3 16th. This is a 5 16th inch hole and you're putting in a quarter inch screw. You need a spacer and the spacers are pretty easy to make. I've done this before in other builds. I'll post up there my luggage repair. Now you can just take a cheap pen, take the end off. I'd already taken the front off and there you go. And you have a nice little tube here in which to use. And you can see that's a perfect spacer. So you just take and put that in here like this. You gotta line it all up. There's a little spacer on the inside you gotta line up sometimes. Press down, all the way through. You'll see it on the other side, get it flush like that. And then you just take, I'll push this to the side, a sharp knife and just cut through it like that. And if you have a little extra there, just trim it off with this great little tool. And I'll post it up there in case you're interested. This screw that was in there <laughs> is a 3 16th inch. So it's a 16th of an inch smaller than the screw you're going to put in. So you need to expand that a little bit with a drill. Just like that. Now you do a little fit check here. Now you take your shaved skateboard wheel and put it in here like this, run it through the end. And then you get yourself one of these nylon lock nuts. You want to make sure it's one quarter inch 20 is the twist on the bolt. Put it on there. Now you'll see a little bit of a gap here. Don't worry about that because as you tighten the bolt down or the screw, it'll take care of itself. And just tighten it down. You just want to get enough of the bolt or the screw to show through, but you don't want to lock it up. So that's a little too tight. So I'm going to back it off just a bit. But the nylon lock nut will help keep this guy in place. How are we doing? So you can see I've done all four at this point. They're nice. And these skateboard wheels are gonna last a good long time and much longer than these really poor examples of wheels. A little bit of Frankensteining and you've turned an average design into something awesome thanks to a cheap skateboard. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you like hacking of things to make them better. Designs of all kinds, making and breaking things. I do evaluations of sports gear, electronics. I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're gonna see.